equals hubris, presumption, which is not only inadequate but runs counter to the task. If we are able to assist in the breakthrough of originary power which is erupting to manifestation, instead of assisting the powers of unbounded machination, we can escape destruction. Since the dangers of self destruction are great, let us briefly summarize them. These summary remarks are merely simplified restatements of those reservations discussed in extenso in their respective sections of the main text. To evaluate them in any other way would be a misunderstanding. In mathematics there is a danger of atomization and deficient quantification. Unless it can be kept from collapse into mere logistics and statistics, CP. 369. The geometric physical treatment of time in physics has led to an atomization that can be restrained only if the qualitative elements of Planck's conception can be brought to awareness and if the acronic structure of matter implicitly formu laded by Heisenberg is taken to heart. The exclusion of the spiritual dimension from the inquiry into life processes will lead biology to the atomization of humanity, the robot-like propagation of artificial insemination is a mechanical exaggeration of vitalism is a good example of this, unless insights such as those of Adolf Portman are respected. If the efforts of molecular biology are successful and applicable to controlled genetic growth, this is almost a certain possibility for the 1970s, humanity will be endangered in such a way that the inconceivable and catastrophic consequences of unleashed new clear power and it is horrible just to mention this, would appear almost harmless. By comparison, in psychology the dangers lie in psychic inflation and its deformation into psychism, in the psychic obsession that threatens to atomize the soul and drown. Man in the artificially stimulated whirlpool of hyperamplified archetypes and complexes, especially when psychology forgets or even psychologizes the spiri tool dimension, and in its application to the office or factory for the purpose of greater output. In philosophy the danger lies in non-commitment, mere concepts, categories, exegesis, analyses, and systems no longer lead to an intensified search for truth but rather to a complete dissolution and, ultimately, atomization of thought. In jurisprudence the prevalence of use value and the privileges of anony. Most sectors trust as well as governments together with the refusal to recognize the Basis and relationships between property and work may lead to a decline of equality. Type justification for life.